first of all, for the visitors from the Boston Celtics, a surprise starter tonight for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's Bledsoe and Sterling Brown in the backcourt. Brogdon still not. James Capers, Ed Malloy, and Tyler Ford are officials. Kyrie Irving in the back. Major part of their game, and their spacing is excellent. Their team hit the reset better in the postseason than the Boston Celtics. Here's Middleton for the Bucks, Over the top of Tatum and Chris Middleton with the first three of the game. Only the Houston Rockets attempted more threes per contest than Milwaukee this year. Irving inside, missing with the left. Horford on the glass. Jalen Brown has been playing in a good groove, but that one rattles halfway. Tatum, back to Horford. See, if Lopez stays on Horford, Horford will be out at the top of the circle, a majority of possessions. The defense by Bledsoe, better offense by Kyrie with the left. See, they'll give him the jump shot until he makes them. But that's what you have to worry about is that first big step. Nice dig and double team by Brown. One on the shot clock. They just got it off in time, and that's going to be a, a shot clock violation. And then also the dunks. Led the league in dunks this year, as well as points in the paint. Good active hands by Bledsoe, causing the turnover. Sterling Brown over to Middleton. Bledsoe eyes the three. And rebounded by Kyrie Irving. Now look, Milwaukee is second in the league to Houston in three-point attempts. And they also are second in make. So we have two teams in the top six that are going to throw up on transition. It could be one against two, but the shot will go up. Nice hesitation move by Bledsoe. The foul Brown with the rebound. Jalen Brown was... One of the leading scorers for the Celtics in the playoffs last year. Irving left it short. And back come the Bucks. Sterling Brown. Getting the start for Malcolm Brogdon, who's going to miss games one and two in this series. They'll reevaluate him after game two. Brown, pardon me, Middleton with his second three ball. Well, he has an excellent mid-range, and he can post you up if he catches a mismatch. Here's Tatum off the screen by Horford. Little floater in the paint off glass is good. Now that was beautiful. Boston 0 for 4 from downtown. Now there's your double. Now Harford, that was an excellent move. Discouraged the baseline. Good defense by Marcus Morris. And Giannis a little bit strong. See, Boston will take that all the time. If we can discourage him from going baseline in that one-on-one -on -one and take that long jumper, they'll settle. Jason Tatum's jumper is long. And Tenekumpo back the other way for the Bucks. Goes to his left. Spins back in and blocked block. by Great Horford. Block. Brown on the break. Stumble. Oh, another block. Got it back from Tatum. Now, that was an outstanding athletic block by Bledsoe. Kyrie, nice pocket pass to Horford. And their pick and pop game is lethal. Well, remember now, Horford is so good from 15 feet out to 22 that you have to plan. So every time that Lopez leaves. And, uh, you know, that, that hurt. Uh, hopefully, after this uh, series, we cannot have the same feeling and uh, we can be you know, the, the, the team that wins the series. Sounds like he has a lot of motivational fuel there for this year against the Celtics. Meanwhile, during the break, three subs coming into the Bucks, including George Hill, Pat Connaughton, and Ersan Ilyasova. There's Morris from deep. Got it. Well, Morris, to me, is a, an excellent move here because you can play Horford on Giannis and then also Morris then can take care of Lopez. The team in the city of Milwaukee till we build the team to a championship level. Now in that first round against Indiana, he got to the foul line 10 times. That's gonna be the big thing with Boston. Can they keep him off the line? Or the three point shot. Brad Stevens says his Celtics are defending better now than they have at any time during the year. Now that was a bad turnover by Giannis. Here's Tatum working against the shorter George Hill. That one rims out. Jason Tatum. Kova. Here's Gordon Hayward playing his best basketball of the season. See, they just set a double screen right there. The staggered screen. Now, how are you going to play that staggered screen in Boston? Uh, you, you're, you're quick, you got the quick feet, you got the physical part of the game, and you're holding them to one shot. Morris kicks it out to the baseline. Horford, a little bit strong. Boston in the middle of a 9-1 to run right now. Connaughton up court for the Bucks. This is 
is a different Milwaukee team from a season ago. Especially their bench. And the Bucks turn it over. Here's Tatum. Okay, they're very good at that. They're very good at any time you reverse the ball, they gamble and go for the steal. Then can you stop them in their fast break kick as a team? Transition on, on the mismatch. There Kyrie hits nothing but net. Now they're looking us on the bench for the Bucks. Here's Middleton. Bucks in that five out offense. George Hill off the bounce pass and good. Now, that, this, is, this has got to go now. Yeah, you have to understand that when you make the drive, when they come in and they pull that defense in tight in the paint, who's open? You can't always be standing looking for a three. You have to have movement to the basket. Mike Budenholzer has redone this Bucks offense this year. Right, number three offensively in the league. Hayward, I tell you what, the tipping point for him, the turning point was late in the regular season in a game down in Miami. He says that he started feeling like his old self. He got to the free throw line about 10 times and had a very productive game. And Hubie, he's showing a lot of bounce. We saw him last week in Indianapolis. Well, what I like about it is he, he looks like he's almost there. He, he's not there all the way yet. But how about this guy? He's there. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> the, this guy with the fadeaway throughout that Indiana series was deep. There's Hayward. Irving working against George Hill, a good defender on the ball. Kyrie with the fadeaway. Boy, that thing brought rain. Let's well, see, you got to make a decision now. Every time he gets down in there, are you going to double team him? Or are you going to let him play one on one? Because he'll stop if it's not there. And you, we're seeing it. The fadeaway shot. He's made three of them already. He's got eight points. A 17 to 3 run for the Boston Celtics. Hill from deep. Yes. And George Hill, but 11 times he was first or second team all NBA. Eight times he was first or second team all defense. And then I saw a stat the other day, I almost fell over. <laughs> 81 games he played in 15 seasons. 15 years, 81 games. For some reason, we don't see yeah. that very often. None of that load management for Hondo. Up there playing in it. One of the truly game. greatest of all time that played both ends of the floor and a pressure pressure player could make the pass the shot or the defensive play Bucket by Al Horford after Hill had scored the last seven for the Milwaukee Bucks Boston leading by eight Under a minute and a half to go here in the first quarter Sterling Brown a little bit loose with the handle Rozier three on one for the Celtics Hayward and that's going to be an offensive foul. It looked like Hayward actually slammed on the brakes, but James Capers, our official, thinking otherwise. Yeah, and it's going to keep an eye on it right here now. You're going to see it. Well, that he definitely had the contact. Now. The guy was there, and he had the contact. You're going to see it right there. He's, you're not going to. That's, that will be an offensive foul every time. What you're worried about right now is that Milwaukee is shooting like 21 or 22 percent in this game and they already have four turnovers and we still have a minute to go in this quarter. Now this is what you want to see more action for them down into that painted area but give the Celtics a ton of credit. Field goal. Both guys have made two each. Giannis is coming off a 41 point closeout game against the Detroit Pistons last Monday. Maybe a little bit of rust wearing off for the Bucks right now. They a couple of days off and started scrimmaging on Wednesday. Thursday had an individual game day where the guys would come in and get some work done and some treatment. Then the scout. After that on Friday, Brown stepped back and bottom for Jalen Brown. Now come on now in game four in Indiana, four out of five threes. He not only did he score the 23 points, came out on fire, but now he's playing with a ton of confidence. You've got to play him behind that three-point line. Nico Miritich off the mark, rebounded by Brown. Celtics leading by 18 seconds. They'll wind it, pardon me, leading by 11 with 13 seconds to go. They'll wind this down. Hayward off the screen. Oh, Got great stripped. Steal. Five great seconds steal. to go. Blitz him on the break. Tried to draw the contact and did. War of words that went beyond the court when somebody asked Rozier about Bledsoe. He called him mistakenly Drew instead of Eric. Nine point 